Welcome to this video. Go ahead and pull out the notes handout that begins Vector Components. We've completed the first page here. We've completed the second page. We're on the third page now. We already filled in this first bullet. We said that in physics, the two legs of a right triangle, the, the legs on the x and y uh, axes, those are called components whenever the hypotenuse of that triangle is a 2D vector. We know that the hypotenuse would be two-dimensional because the hypotenuse is going off on some angle, right? Okay, so let's take the example of displacement. We did this already. The, uh, the thing you've done already is draw the right triangle with delta R as the hypotenuse. The other legs were delta X and delta Y. And so what do we notice? Well, the legs, the legs are called components. So let's write down what the legs are. There's delta x and there's delta y. Delta x is called the x component or the x leg. We're going to call it the x component of delta r. And delta y, we said, is called the y component of delta r. So again, here's the logic. Delta x is a component of delta r because delta x is one of the legs of the delta r right triangle. And likewise, delta y is a component because it's one of the legs of the right triangle with delta r as the hypotenuse. Okay, before you discuss with your neighbor the features of vector component, we are going to do this. We'll pause the video. But before we get there, I want to give you a couple of hints, or not hints, but ways to think about this question. Okay, then. Vector components, that's what we're thinking about. And here's the picture you want to keep in mind. Here's a two dimensional vector. Hmm, what should we make it? Should we make it displacement? Should we make it a two-dimensional velocity, a 2D acceleration? Let's use displacement, two-dimensional displacement. We can imagine x and y axes, and when we imagine that, if we trace over to the y-axis, whoops, like that, we see that this vector only extends or stretches so far on the y-axis. And if we trace down to the x-axis, we see this vector only extends or stretches so far along the x-axis. It occupies this space from here to here on the x-axis. So first thing, remember, this arrow does not mean that the vector goes on and on and on and on forever. It just tells us which way the vector is pointing. But the vector has an end right here. When we draw the components, they start, here's the x component, starts here, and it points in the general direction that the 2D vector is pointing. Except remember, this is on an axis, it's on the x-axis. We're used to drawing the y component right here, but I'm going to slide it over and put it right here instead. So think about this picture. Describe the qualities of the components, the blue arrows. Describe their qualities, their features, and look at this picture as you do it. Right? What are all the things that you notice about these components? And uh, State even the obvious things. Imagine you're explaining this picture to someone who doesn't see the video. So take a moment, pause the video, and do this in your notes. List the qualities of a two-dimensional, uh, sorry, of a vector component. Okay, welcome back. Did you do it? Did you actually do it? Okay, pause the video. Actually, pause the video and list the components, the features of vector components. Okay, welcome back. Here we go.
The features are as follows. Delta x and delta y, these components, are themselves vectors. They're not just lines, they have arrow tips. And so they are vectors. Kind of obvious. Each lies on an axis. They are perpendicular to each other. They can make a right triangle. And you make that right triangle by sliding delta y over and connecting it right here. So the two vectors, the two components, delta x and delta y, those components are perpendicular to each other. And here's a key feature. They show how far on an axis the two-dimensional vector stretches. Here's another way to say that. You might be wondering, <laughs> maybe not, maybe, but maybe you are. Maybe you're wondering how much of the x-axis does delta r occupy? You can find out by looking at delta x. This shows you how much of the x-axis delta r occupies. Here's another way to think about this bullet. If you take a flashlight and you put it right here where my mouse is, and you point it down toward delta r, the shadow that you see is going to be this x component. The shadow that you see when you point it down toward the axis here, toward the x-axis, the shadow you see is the x component. And if you take the flashlight and you put it right here where my mouse is, and you point it toward the y-axis, the shadow that you see, the shadow of delta r, would be the y component. And the final bullet, these components show which way on the x-axis and which way on the y-axis the 2D vector, delta r, which way it stretches or extends or points. So for example, delta r starts here and it points out like this. You see, you follow my mouse there? It points out like this. So is it going to the right or is it going to the left? It's going to the right. So delta x points right. Delta r extends out. It points out like this. Is it pointing up or down on the whole? It's pointing up. So delta y points up. OK then, pause the video and use these key features to write your own definition of a vector component or of vector components. So pause the video, use this, write the definition you think should be, what, write what you think should be the definition of vector components. Incorporate these features on the screen. Okay, ready to go? Here's our definition. Vector components, first let's get the picture again. There's delta r, you imagine the axes. You see, okay, where does this delta r end along the y-axis? All right, and how far does it go on the x-axis? And then you draw your components like that. These components are, they're vectors. Delta y and delta x are vectors. They have arrows, kind of obvious. They are vectors that lie on perpendicular axes. The x and y axes are perpendicular. These vectors show how far and which way a two-dimensional vector extends along those axes. So delta x, delta y show how far the 2D vector, delta r, how far it extends on the x-axis, how far it extends on the y, and they show which way delta r extends on each axis. So that is our definition. This is a definition you want to understand. You want to be able to draw a picture representing the definition. And you also want to have this definition memorized, ultimately.